careful. It might be the pumpkins are frozen. Just stuck. The ducks decided they wanted to come in last night. Burr, you cold? A little bit. Good morning, modern steaders. It's 14 degrees out this morning. First day after our first big snowstorm. We got, I don't know, between six and eight inches of snow yesterday. I wasn't expecting this much. Were you expecting this much snow? But you got a snow day, right? So it was worth it. Okay. Now Olivia's got to bring all of her snow gear to school, huh? Hey, here comes the bus. Okay. I'll pick you up in a little while to go to the orthodontist. Okay. Love you. Love you. Have a good day. You too. I need to take down the goat's temporary electric fence on the outside here today. Get that wrapped up. There was a few things we didn't get done before this big snowstorm came in. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Kiddos want some fresh water? I'll stick it over here, I guess. Yeah, I'll stick it over here. They're like, dude, we want food. We want food. Girls gotta get cut back on their chaff hay. They're only gonna get one small handful for all two of the kids. You guys stay in here, Willow. And then Willow gets some chaff hay when I milk. Instead of grain, I give her chaff hay. I'll have to give the goat some more straw bedding. It's supposed to get a little bit chillier tonight. If this is a sign of what winter's gonna be like, it's gonna be an interesting winter. It's supposed to get down to a single digits tonight. It's kind of funny because I've heard weather forecasts for this winter both different ways. That we're getting a lot of snow and it's going to be really cold this winter. And then I've heard we're having a very mild winter. So I guess they got it covered. We don't have to worry about them being wrong. If you want more to eat, you got to come out to the hay feeder. Do you finish? Go ahead. That sunrise is beautiful. I honestly thought I had more time before we got a big snowstorm like this. All the weather reports that I was watching said we were only getting like one to two inches. I had like two or three modern steaders Facebook message me and say, hey, you're getting a big storm coming your way. <laughs> they knew what they were talking about. I was like, oh, we're only getting a few inches. I should have listened. <sighs> but on a good note, we got all of this wood burnt yesterday. <laughs> I can't believe that's all that's left of all the clearing we did on this side in that apple orchard and in the lane. All the stumps and everything we were able to burn down. 
That's just awesome. Need to close the window in New York City. I'm gonna leave the chickens in New York City in the pasture for now. I'm hoping maybe that all the snow will melt. And if it does, we'll move New York City to the winter greenhouse chicken coop. And if it doesn't, we're just gonna move the chickens into the greenhouse and we'll leave New York City in the pasture. So we'll give it like a week or so and see what happens. Believe. The other water dish is over here. This is where we left it. There it is. Yep, right where we left it. Stick the water out here for them, make them come out. So we get a lot of questions all the time about our animals in the cold weather, you know, with housing and different things. What I try to do is, I try to acclimate them to the colder weather through fall and this time of the year. So when it starts to get really cold out, they're naturally ready for it. I do the same thing for myself throughout the fall and this time of the year. I try to wear as light a clothing as I can handle. Right now it's 12 degrees out. No gloves, sweatshirt, and a vest, pants. No long johns or nothing. Just it helps build your brown fat. The more brown fat you have, the better you do in the cold. The better you do in the cold, the more you, the better I do in the cold, the more I enjoy being outside. Same with the animals. We get them used to this kind of weather. They're gonna be out and about, whether it's chickens, pigs, goats. We did winter pigs last year, raised them outside throughout the whole winter. They did awesome. We had a brutal winter. Our chickens have always done well. The goats are looking nice and healthy. They get a good winter coat on. They're all gonna be doing good. We get the chickens out here drinking. They'll move around the snow, they'll get used to it. They got a nice coop to go into, stay warm. Ducks are loving the water. I don't think we're gonna be using this again. for I think two more inches of snow in two days. Tomorrow we go and get snow tires on the truck so I feel better about that. Now we go get Olivia and take her to our orthodontist appointment. You know it's gonna be a cold one when the smoke come out of your chimneys blowing around like that. Winter wonderland already. the orthodontist and get your teeth checked yes and Olivia's starting the braces process exciting isn't it yeah yeah all right let's go in okay. and just like that we're back home while I was out in town I picked up some mulch hay for the chicken coop This 
will help sail off any drafts that's in the coop. And all the chickens love playing on it. Gives them something else to do in the winter time. I have some nesting boxes in here too. Next time we're in town, we'll have to pick up a few more bales for in there. Now, Andy and his gang of chickens crack me up the most. We're gonna bring them this hay. And they hung out, there they are, all summer long. With the pigs and staying in this tote. But they haven't been going in it until today. We're gonna give him some bedding. Oh, guys, you gotta get some hay on ya. <laughs> Look at that, now you got a nice home. You girls eat all your hay already? Your water's still doing good. Wait, your flake of hay. I can't give you any more yet. That's all you're gonna do is sit in front of your hay and eat it. We can't have that. Yeah. Need to see if we can get this fence in. Now, I was planning on bringing this chicken tractor up to where the pigs were, and this could have been the winter greenhouse for Andy and his chicks. I'm not sure if it's gonna get up there this year. But that was my goal. Hoping to get all these old apple trees. Yep, believe it or not, they're all old apple trees cleaned up and pruned up this winter. We'll see what happens. I can't get over how much that wind has picked up this early afternoon. It's just crazy. It's getting really windy and I think it's bringing the cold air and it's cooling off even more. I don't know if any of the chickens went into the tote once we added the hay to it. Nope. It's supposed to go in the tote with the hay. No. All right. Oh. I see the chickens are starting to brave it a little bit. Yeah, only Well, we're gonna feed them our leftovers we have outside. Oh, I see three of them. Yeah, they're actually on the ground. But they're on where the grass is. No charger. No, they had to walk on the side to get over there. Yep. Where'd you put the... Chargers in the basement.
tried to. Nope. You can pump for one drink. Huh? If they want to <laughs> drink, they gotta come out. They can't. It's frozen. Now they can. Goose is so quiet. He is. He's muffled inside New York City. Where are you, Moose? We hear you muffle in there. Huh? Where are you? Where is he? I don't know. We'll have to go look for him. <laughs> he sounds muffled. Oh, there's a cracked egg. Did it freeze? Yep. Okay. Let's collect the eggs first. <laughs> Hello, little oh, chicken. There's two other right there. <laughs> he must be under. Yeah, he has to be. There's no way that he's inside. Oh, hi, Sugro! Where's Moose? <laughs> Moose! Moosey, Moosey! Moose, are you under there? <laughs> no. Where is he? I have no idea. Where are you, Moose? He's not in the f food bucket. He must be out in New York City. No. Moose. There you are, Moose. What, are you hiding under the New York City? You're crazy, dude. You're crazy. <laughs> They're like in the leftover. You gotta get over there more. Before it freezes, you got some banana bread. And an egg. And an egg. And some lemons. Oh, figure I was hiding at your fort. Oh yeah, that is my fort. <laughs> See you, Moose. Stay oh, warm. No. Oh my goodness. They're saying, we ate all of our hay. We need more hay. And they're saying, where'd our fence go? Huh? Huh? Where'd our fence go? It looks so different over here without their fence. Yeah. Now you're supposed to open this gate. I can't. Look so warm. I feel like I want to cuddle you because you'll warm me up. Slow down, stay over here. Now we'll start to look fat. You're gonna trip me up and then you won't get any hay. Yeah. Is that some good stuff? Is that what you wanted? Yeah. It's a thick. That's from that bowl. This is like the top. Yeah. That's pretty thick, huh? Mm -hmm. You like ice this year, don't you? That's your thing. I think it's a good thing you girls put on a few extra pounds for the winter. You're gonna need it. Now this, this looks cool. Like... That does look cool, don't it? Pretty crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. Woo! You can see right through it. Wah. Snow is so neat. Looks like a wrinkled sheet. So how was your orthodontist appointment? Good. Let me see your spacers. She got some spacers in there. Can you see them? Yep, yeah, right there is the blue one. So in two weeks she's gonna get, what are you getting? A full spacer, and then I have to get upper braces. And bands. Yeah. Your metal bands getting put in. Cool beans. And my wire. And your wire. All right. You have to get the snowshoes out pretty soon. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun, though. 
it will be fun, won't it? Last Bring some... year wasn't that much fun. Now we got a big pasture we can go snowshoe in too. Over to the brook. Nice and warm in here. The camera's fogging up. Oh no! Put a few more logs on the fire. It's supposed to get down to the single digits tonight. I want to make sure that fire is still going when we get home. This is where we're going to end today's video. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. We appreciate y'all being here. It's been another great day. A little bit colder than normal, but we had a good one, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, the guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.